Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Tara of Nella. I'm so excited to be creating this video today. It's something I've wanted to, to post for a long time. Um, this is going to be my taxidermy collection. So my collection has seemed to be getting a bit bigger, so I thought now is the time to finally show you some of these beautiful animals that I have. So just to put a disclaimer out there, none of these animals have been killed. So I'm going to leave a lot of information down in the description bar on taxidermy. Um, so you, if you're not familiar with it, what it actually is, it's obviously an art based form of, you know, preserving beautiful animals so that they can stay intact. This video isn't going to be it for everyone. So if you do not want to see it, click off. That's fine. Um, if you are interested, then keep watching. But that is the disclaimer there that none of these animals have been actually harmed in any way to become taxidermy. A lot of taxidermists source their animals from roadkill. They're naturally deceased from like illness or old age. A lot of deceased specimens come from zoos, farms, aviaries. So now that I've put that out there, um, I'm going to show you um, my collection. So I have a beautiful giant blue morpho butterfly. Um, hopefully the camera can pick up the iridescence of it. I think you can see it there. It's so kind of pearly, opaly. Honestly, this is my favourite butterfly. Now this technically isn't taxidermy, but you know, it kind of is. I did buy it in a taxidermy shop, but obviously this is um, a bug, an insect, and there's not technically any stuffing involved. So this actually sits on my tarot desk. I find it very therapeutic having the colour blue around me. I really do um, connect with that colour. So the next animal I have is a mouse. So um, I love this mouse because it actually has this skull, this really nice white skull that's been painted on this wooden stand. And what I love about this mouse is he has a little patch on the side of his eye. So I feel like he just has a bit of character about him. Uh, yeah, I just think he's really sweet. He's really cute. And I just love the colour of this. The white skull with the white mouse and the little patch on him. Um, I just think he's really adorable. So I have this really sweet uh, little chicken. So this is a little chick. And what I love about this, oh, it's so soft. He is like this kind of creamy white color. So I basically didn't want to get a chicken, um, a little chick that was like the yellow fluffy ones because they're so, so popular. So I was kind of looking for the, for like a more of a whitey type of color. So in contrast, it goes really well with my next ducklings I have to show you. So these are my black ducklings. Um, they're either classed as black or brown when you search them, but they're this really beautiful colour. And these ducklings, as you can see, there's like actually two on this stand. And they're kind of like snuggling. It's a really kind of sweet pose that they're in. Um, but the darker ducklings are harder to get than like the yellow the like yellow ones so yeah I was so happy when I actually managed to get a pair of these um, but yeah they're a little bit harder harder to find than the yellow so yeah I love um, the colors of these so this next little guy is full of character this is a long haired um, hamster he is actually quite large uh, for a hamster he was called a large hamster but as you can see he has long hair so this i believe is incredibly rare like look at his sweet face look how cute he is but i have not seen a long haired hamster before so this was definitely something unique a uh, bit of an oddity that i had to add to my collection um yeah i just i don't know if i'll ever see one like this again i just think he's stunning but yeah he's like a he's a long haired hamster uh, with beautiful colouring. So next I have a guinea pig. So 
He's a long-haired guinea pig. He has that kind of um, obsidian coat. So he was an absolute bargain. Um, guinea pigs are not the easiest to find in general, to be honest. Um, they kind of rarely come up, especially, it depends where you're looking for taxidermies. If you're looking for them online, like eBay and Etsy, they're very rare to kind of come across. Um, the only thing I'm not keen about this skinny pig is um, I don't feel like his eyes look very real. Something about the eye shape. Obviously, these are fake eyes. They don't use real eyes in taxidermy. Um, but yeah, these beaded eyes just don't seem to be making him look very realistic. But he's super cute. Um, yeah, I just think he's very cute. I actually bought him because I actually have a guinea pig taxidermy and i wanted to get my friend because guinea pigs goes in go in pairs so it just made sense so you can see the size difference god this one's very heavy this one must be filled with clay he's very heavy um as you can see these are my two guinea pigs so he kind of looks like a little baby compared to this one because this one's very large so as you can see the size differences this one is my favourite. This one reminds me so much of my guinea pig called Teddy. He was um, he was a Texel. So yeah, he really does remind me of my guinea pig Teddy. He has the same kind of colouring. He was like this creamy, creamy, uh, cream and white kind of colour. His fur is absolutely amazing. His coat is such good quality. The only negative about this skinny pig is um, he does have some damage to his ear. As you can see, it's been split. Um, I didn't actually know this at the time when I bought him, um, and the seller apparently didn't know either. But apparently he's meant to be quite old or something. But um, it's fine because I actually fell in love with him so much that the damage didn't really bother me that much because you can't really see it. But yeah, I plan on looking really well after him, so he's in good company. <laughs> so the next one I have is like a baby tortoise. This is a really young um, Herman's tortoise. I mean, look at his little face. So I, he's freeze dried. This is a freeze dried, so he's super lightweight. He's adorable. I absolutely love my small taxidermies the most. So I do quite like my kind of um, young taxidermies and the ones that just sort of fit in my hand. So I've seen lots of taxidermy tortoises before, but I haven't seen one um, actually that's a Herman's tortoise that's this small. So this next one is one of my favourites. And to be honest, this was probably one, this is my most expensive one. As you can see, this is a hedgehog. This is a juvenile hedgehog. So he's very young. He's like a... A baby hedgehog so as you can see he fits he fits into my hand like this so you can see he is a very young wild hedgehog and again hedgehogs you know are becoming extinct there has been a dramatic decline in the recent um, years of hedgehogs so it is crazy to think that this beautiful creature may not exist one day because they're not surviving now in the wild. Um, but yeah, he's very prickly and he has this like furry belly. Um, yeah, he's adorable. So the next taxidermy I have to show you is one that I was very excited when I came across him because this is a fox cub. Now, I haven't seen one that has blue eyes. If you can see, again, obviously the eyes are not real. These are like glass or like resin cabbage and eyes glass eyes that they use but um a lot of foxes are quite you know dark in color he has this color that is um like a creamy fawn kind of color so you can see his feet this kind of sable kind of color on him he is such a lovely color he has this kind of light area here um so he's quite a light fox. I haven't seen one this colour before. Um, because like I say, they're normally very, you know, very ginger, as to be expected. I've never really been drawn to taxidermy foxes, but 
when I saw this one I was like there is something about this one like I just had to have him and I'm so so pleased that he's in my collection um, he is so so beautiful so the last taxidermy I have to show you is my jackdaw crow bird so I'm showing you this last because you may have seen him already in my spooky haul I filmed a while ago but he is my first taxidermy animal that I bought and he basically started my journey he started my collection because I became so um obsessed with him and you know I just found a love for taxidermy then when I got this bird he kind of just made me want more so I just thought it would make sense to end the video showing you my beautiful mystic bird um, there is a few more animals I would love to get I probably would love more birds because I'm a huge bird fanatic so if you are thinking of like buying taxidermy just look into you know the sellers and where you're buying them from you know how they're sourcing them if everything's like ethical so let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite animal i would love to know out of my whole collection what was your favorite so thank you so much for watching don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'm sending you all so much love and light